Hi everyone, I wanted to come on here and share a word given to Julie Wedby. This word was posted on June 6, 2021, and it's titled, Ready or Not. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be also in the days of the Son of Man. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, and you will watch many fall away now. Is this not what is happening before your very eyes? You who have been seeking truth, you who have been called and prepared and are ready because you have been through the refining fires, know the hour is very, very late. I've set my seal upon you and your steps are ordained. Great, great changes are here now and the time for warnings has ceased. The world is under judgment and I will use this season for great purging and separating. Too many continue to sit on the fence and remain undecided. And in my house, I have begun the separation. The filth and abominations of those who call themselves mine have reached their limit. And I will show them which God they have chosen to serve. How long I have admonished them to seek truth. Yet the comforts of this world still hold them captive. Tell my house, the time is over to make a choice for me. As you cannot serve me and mammon. The time of severe testing is now upon the earth. A dramatic shift will separate those who are truly mine and who have embraced truth and walk completely in it from those who pay lip service to me, but whose hearts are hardened by the choice to live in willful sin. Those who have not come out of man's systems, religions, and Babylon will suffer the consequences of their decisions. I have told you that nothing will be the same again. The earth cries out for redemption from the bloodshed and the evil perpetuated, and all is out of balance. The weight of sin on the earth causes great groaning for all that is upon it. For a short time, I will allow the enemy to advance, but only against those who are not with me, those compromising and those living in sin. You who love me, who seek me with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, will very soon know a different reality. As the darkness blankets the earth and seeks to consume, my light will penetrate those places where my remnant faithful ones gather and miracles will abound. You will hear my same voice, the voice of your shepherd. You must have no fear as you cannot be harmed. And I have already dispatched my angels concerning you. Soon you will see the manifestation of my glory in a much more visible way. And although you will see people living in fear everywhere around you, you will have my great peace and undisturbed composure as I will dwell within you and your places of gathering. Have I not told you I am about to do a work in your day that you would not believe even if it were told to you? Believe my chosen ones and have joy in your hearts for your redeemer lives and will glorify himself in and through you in a way you have never known before. I will say, go here, and you will go and be undetected and unhindered. You will minister and you will teach and heal. I will say, ask, and you will receive all that you require. I will say, command the elements to come under your authority and it will be done in your places of dwelling as it will be my authority by which you speak. I will use your mouth to stop the enemy in his tracks and silence him as all the forces of darkness seek to destroy you. The enemy will no longer have direct access to you as he once had before. They will run in terror for the fear of me as they see me manifested through you. They will be defeated in front of your eyes. Your faith will be greatly strengthened and I will pour out my spirit in great measure so that all will know that the great I am is in your presence. I have promised I will never leave you or forsake you, and my word is truth. Continue, my loves, to walk in spirit and in truth, and it shall be well with your soul. Truth is the only way you will overcome, and truth has always been available to you. There will be storms of great magnitude, seasons out of alignment, unusual weather patterns, and much turmoil in the atmosphere as the elements will be unleashed as judgment. Man will no longer have dependency 
on patterns as all has now begun to change dramatically. While there will be lack of food, water and electricity in many areas, my remnant will lack nothing. While the fury of the enemy seeks to devour the earth, my set apart ones will be unseen and unknown to them. The time is upon you when you will see even your loved ones struggling to make a choice for me, but you must stand firm. Few have received truth previous to now. Many will endure the tribulation that is here as it is the only way for them to ultimately find me and be saved. Keep praying for them, keep interceding. Your prayers avail much in my kingdom. Have no worries or concerns about where your help comes from, as you know it comes from me. I am your help. I am your deliverer from all darkness. I am the source of all things. I am in your midst. Remember who you are, made in the image of your Father, sent here to glorify me and manifest me to all I send to you. You came here for this time on the earth, for this reason in these last days, and your steps are ordained. I will light the way, as I always have, and I will head you in, in on all sides, and you will be and you will behold wonders upon wonders, as you will see the fulfillment of all that has been written. Do not grow weary in your journey. The best is yet to come. Continue to pray for radical faith, and it will be granted to you. Keep seeking my counsel and wisdom, and it will pour forth to you. Pray continually that you will always have my kingdom perspective as you endure this last season of your experience here before I complete your transformation. And yes, my loves, it is coming very, very soon. I know your hearts, and soon means soon. Yahushua. There are scripture references given at the bottom of this message. They're all typed out. Um, I suggest um, that you click on the link in the description box and scroll down so that you can um, become familiar with the scripture references. And um, there's also a message from Julie on here. I'm just going to read real quick. She said, as I sit here praying over this message, asking his Holy Spirit to go before this word, so all may have ears to hear. I hear a shofar blowing in the spirit. Truly, King Yahushua is at the door. Make haste to be ready. Be holy as he is ho so holy. Humble and contrite of spirit. Thank you all for all of your love and support. We pray for each of you daily. Our love and blessings and Yahushua's shalom to you all until he comes for us. Julie. And that is the end of the message. I love you all and I pray that you all have a blessed day.